Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to test out some of our most popular stun guns and see if they're actually strong enough to take down a large attacker. Now, I'm about 230 pounds, 6 foot 4, and I have doubts that any of these are going to actually be able to take me down, but we're going to really test them out today. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you don't try this at home, that would be awesome. Now the first stun gun we're going to test out today is the Black Venom stun gun. I guess the thing I like the most about it is that you can actually strike with it too. It's strong enough that you could actually punch with it. And the thing with stun guns that I always tell people is that a stun gun may not be strong enough to actually take someone down. If someone's high on drugs, if someone's on crystal meth, a stun gun's probably not going to be effective with them. So you need to have other options. You need to either be training in martial arts, learning some self-defense techniques, or have something else available to you. And this stun gun is awesome in that respect. It actually has these little spikes on it that could be used to defend yourself if you needed to. So I really like this stun gun. Um, one thing you should also know is that stun gun laws are really, really strict. So you need to check your city, state, country laws to make sure that this is legal in your area because there's different laws to what can be sold to an area, what can be owned, and what can actually be carried. But let's go ahead and text this guy out. This is it says, the manufacturer says, 85 million volts. Now, if you've watched any of my other stun gun videos, you know that that is not really a number you can take seriously. Uh, stun gun manufacturers just kind of throw a number onto their packages to try to make them look like they're stronger than other stun guns. Uh, so when I see 85 million volts, I just know that that's not going to be the case at all. Um, but I know for a fact this one is strong. Uh, we've tested it out before. I've never tested it out on video. But it's got a pretty strong sound to it, and that's usually a good sign that it's going to be a strong sun, stun gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this over to Amanda. And in my old videos, you always see her kind of come up to me and hit me in the arm with it. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to try to kind of, I'm not going to say attack her because that just sounds mean, but I'm going to kind of come up on her and she's going to try to push me away with this thing and actually see if this will stop me. So I'm a little bit nervous about this video. Amanda's deadly nervous about this video. Um, but we need to test these things out. We need to see if they're going to be effective. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you, that took about six takes to get it right. Um, we tried it a bunch of ways. What kept happening is I would come at her, and then as soon as it would hit me, I would jump back. And it took like everything in my power to like keep going towards her as I was attacking, because it's like instinctual that when you hear that shock, when you get your first shock, you jump back. So in that respect, even if this isn't as strong as it needs to be, a stun gun is effective. This is the weakest stun gun we're going to test today. It, it definitely hurt. Amanda held it on there the entire time. The whole time it was hooked to me, she was holding it on, and it hurt. It hurt really bad. Um, I don't know if that would be strong enough to, um, to knock someone down that was on crystal meth or something like that. So. I would definitely be prepared to use this in another way as a punching device and just learn other martial arts, learn self-defense, it's important. Uh, but let's test out the next stun gun right now. Okay, so the next stun gun we're going to test out is the Pink Comfort Grip Stun Gun. The manufacturer claims this is 96 million volts. Um, I know that it's stronger than the last one we tested, uh, but uh, let's... Yeah, you can actually hear that in the crack of the stun gun. It's going to be stronger than the previous stun gun we tested. But what I like about this one in particular is it's got this flashlight on it. So what's nice about that is this actually looks a lot like a flashlight. So if you were to, you know, go on your nightly walk or something, you could carry this just like a flashlight. And, you know, if you ever needed it to, uh, you know, to defend yourself, you just turn on the stun gun and shock away. 
Uh, I think I'm going to be less scared of this one because the other one had the sharp spikes on it and I was nervous about getting too close to it and getting actually the spikes into my stomach. Um, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't take six takes. We'll see. Okay, so that one took three takes to get it right. Um, because every time that sound went off, I would instinctively jump back. Uh, but uh, Amanda actually got me really good. She got me right in the stomach. I'm having her shock me in the stomach instead of where you would actually want to shock someone. If someone's attacking you, you want to shock them in either the neck, the groin. You want to shock them somewhere where it's actually going to take them down. And the stomach is not the best place to do that. But I honestly don't want to get shocked in the neck, so I'm good with the stomach. I think it gives us a good test as to whether these things will work. This was definitely stronger than the last stun gun I tested. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty awesome. And for a small stun gun that's compact and portable and actually works as a flashlight, I think it's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and test out uh, the last stun gun, and that is actually one of the big stun batons. All right, so the last stun gun we're going to look at today is the Thunderbolt Stun Baton. I'm actually super nervous about this. I'm still shaky from the previous stuns, uh, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But um, this is one of our most popular stun batons, and I had to test it out. Uh, this is awesome because it's actually made out of an aircraft aluminum, so it's really solid, which is nice because if the stun baton isn't strong enough to take down an attacker, you have that blunt force instrument you can use to strike them, and I love that in stun batons. Um, some of the things that are great about this is it has this belt clip on it that just makes it ultra convenient to carry around. I mean, I, I like that. I actually like this better than the stun batons that have holsters on them because the holsters just... I don't know, they, it's kind of awkward taking them out and kind of slow, whereas this just slides in and out so quickly. So I, I, I really like that with this stun baton. Uh, the manufacturer claims this is 180 million volts. Now I know that's not the case, but you can tell when you hear that that it's a very strong stun baton. So I'm, I'm really nervous about this. Um, it also has this rubberized grip on it, which makes it really comfortable to use. But uh, let's see, I guess uh, the other thing I should probably tell you about it is it does have a really cool flashlight feature on it. So if you're using this to walk around at night, um, it's got a strong light. It's also got a weaker light and then it's got the strobe effect to it. So I don't know, it's really cool in that respect. But um, we've got to test out to see if it's strong enough to actually take me down, which I guarantee that it is, but we still got to test it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to Amanda and let's see what, what it does. <laughs> okay, so that took two takes. Um, she, she actually hit me right here, just above the solar plexus, which really, <laughs> really hurt. Um, yeah, I, I, this, this would definitely be effective. This would definitely be an effective weapon. Um, I'm starting to sweat really bad. Uh, it's probably time to end the video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Be sure to check out KarateMart.com to see all of our awesome stun guns that we carry because we have this huge variety of small ones, large ones, ones that uh, look like other things. Like we've got one that looks like a cell phone. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, and until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday. Yeah.